Na asante sana mtazamaji popote ulipo na kupa mwaliko katika taarifa zetu za mbio ya KTN ikiwa ni saa kumi ya lasiri saa za Afrika Mashariki tumekuandalia mengi ya humu nchini na vile vile maeneo mengine katika kanda nzima Afrika Mashariki ikiwa ni siku ambayo wanahabari wanaadhimisha uhuru wa vyombo vya habari kote ulimwenguni karibu makinika tuko na saa nzima ya kukupasha haya mengi jina langu ni Lofti Matambo lakini kwanza hebu pata vidokezo Kinara wa chama cha Waipa na muungano wa NASA Kalonzo Musyoka autetea wakfu wake baada ya bodi ya kusimamia mashirika asiyo ya kiserikali kutangaza kufunga wakfu huo. Mwanamuziki Charles Njago kipenda jagu apokezwa cheti kilichokuwa awali kimepewa mbunge wa starehe Maina Kamanda. Na maeneo mengi nchini ya kumbwa na mafuriko ya ghafla baada ya mvua kubwa kunya. karibu tena mtazamaji jopo la jubilii ambalo linachunguza malalamishi yaliyotolewa na baadhi ya wagombea viti mbalimbali limempa kibali cha kuwania ubunge wa starehe mwanamuziki Charles Kanyi Njagu kipenda Jagwa tunaungana sasa na mwanahabari wetu Jeff Kiruya ambaye amekita kambi huko tangia asubuhi atupashe na ujiri sasa Jeff kunani kule katika makao makuu ya jubilii sana lofti Naam hapa ni makao makuu ya chama cha Jubilee hapa jijini Nairobi ambapo kesi ambayo imekuwa ikisubiriwa sana kwa hamu hii leo basi imekuwa ni kesi uh, kati ya mwanamuziki Charles Njagwa na mpinzani wake ambaye ni mbunge wa sasa wa eneo bunge la starehe Maina Kamanda na kwa mujibu wa chama cha Jubilee ya Majopo lililotuko jukumu la kutatua kesi hizo uh, mwenyekiti wa jopo hilo Faith Waigu ameweza kutoa rasmi uamuzi wa jopo hilo akimtangaza uh, Charles Njagwa almarufu Jagwa kuwa shindi wa tiketi ya chama cha jubilee katika eneo hilo na basi hilo inamaanisha kwamba mwanamuziki Jagwa ataweza kukabiliana na wagombeaji wengine watatu na inabainika kwamba ni ushindani kati ya vijana mpinzani um, um, ama mshindi wa tiketi ya chama cha ODM Steve Mbogo na pia mwanaharakati Boniface Mwangi wote watatu wataweza kukabiliana kunyakuwa uh, tiketi ama kunyakuwa eneo bunge la starehe hivyo basi wacha tumsikize uh, mwenyekiti wa jopo la kutatua mizozo ya jubilee ambaye ni Faith Waigwa akianza kutueleza uamuzi huo I want to thank Jubilee Party and the Tribunal for the fair hearing, and that shows that they have a space for the youth of this country. What do you have in the plan? The good thing about the people of Starehe came out in large numbers early in the morning to vote for me, and what I want to tell them, I'll work for them tirelessly, and the way they have been saying, people are saying that I'll be compromised. I'm, I'm, I'm telling them now, nobody will ever compromise when it comes to Starehe. Why do you think what? Kumekuwa na kumekuwa na 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 watu wamekuwa kiamini wakuwa na fikira za ya some people yani leaders wanafaa kutoka kwa certain click what we wanted to show what we what I wanted to show the youth of this country it doesn't matter mahali umetoka you can be someone yani ule mtu nataka kuwa na what we know about history ya mheshimiwa kamanda he has been rigging out people since 1979 and whenever i went for the campaigns what we alikuwa ananiambia we might not come vote for you because we know utanyanganywa certificate and every day every day nikiamka mapema i had to go convince people to believe iko fair na sitanyanganywa certificate na maina kamanda lakini nataka kuambia watu wa starehe na nataka kuwashukuru sana kwa sababu they have stood by me they have spent sleepless nights na god amekuwa side yetu kwa sababu niliwaambia if you win fair and square mheshimiwa kamanda atachukua certificate yani amepatana na mtu mbaya Yes. Based on the evidence adduced before us uh, by both parties, that is minor commander and Jaguar, the tribunal by the complainant, with which the first respondent could not substantially rebut, this tribunal finds that the complainant's evidence on alterations of his results garnered at the tallying center is so compelling that it is clear that he had won in the nominations exercise as per the results at the polling stations whose alterations at the tallying center 
we have found to have happened. Accordingly, the tribunal hereby overturns the results as declared by the returning officer, Starehe constituency declaring Honorable William Minor Commander as the winner and declares Charles Njagwa Kanyi as the winner and candidate of Jubilee Party, member of parliament Starehe constituency, Nairobi County, and hereby directs the National Elections Board to issue him with a certificate of nomination. And I want to thank the, the I want to thank God, the people of Sarehe, my team. Nam. Uh, hao hao wamekuwa ni mwenyekiti wa joko linalotatua mizozo katika chama cha Jubilee Faith Waigwa pamoja na Charles Njago ambao wa, ambaye ameweza kutangazwa kuwa mshindi wa tiketi ya chama cha Jubilee katika ni bunge la stare basi kuna uamuzi mwingine ambao unasubiriwa hii leo uamuzi unaohusisha uh, unaohusisha eneo bunge la Kamukunzi kati ya Simon Bugu ambaye alitangazwa kuwa mshindi pamoja na mbunge wa sasa Yusuf Hassan ambaye ameweza kupinga uamuzi wa kitaka basi aweze ama jopo hilo ziweze kutatua mizozo yake kumbuka kwamba kuna uamuzi unaohusisha uh, kiti ama wath for gavana katika kaunti ya Nakuru kati ya gavana wa sasa uh, Kinudhi Mbugwa na jamaa ama mpinzani ambaye alitangazwa kuwa mshindi Liki Nyanjui kumbuka kwamba Mbugwa aliweza kuteta ama ameweza kulalamika kwamba uh, uamuzi huo ama uchaguzi wa mchuji wa chama cha Jubilee katika kaunti hiyo haukuweza kufanyika kwa njia huru na wa haki hivyo basi wanataka uh, jopo hili zile ze kuangazia kesi yake. Ah uh, nam ilivyo sasa hayo tu ni baadhi ya uh, maamuzi ambayo yanasubiriwa hivi leo. Lakini kuu kwamba pia hapa kutoka uh, chama cha Jubilee kwamba wameweza kuangazia ama uh, kesi zaidi ya mia tatu kati ya zile ambazo ziliweza kuwasilishwa tano na nane. na hivyo basi uamuzi ama shughuli zima ya kuangazia uh, kesi hizo ina uh, shughuli hiyo inatarajiwa kukamilika uh, Ijumaa hii uh, kumbuka kwamba wale wanaopania ama wanaopania ku kuania nafasi ama kuhama vyama na kujiunga ama kuania viti vyao kibinafsi wana hadi hapo kesho kuweza kuwasilisha uh, baadhi zao pamoja na nembo zao katika uh, afisi za msajili wa vyama lakini pia waweza kukumbuka kwamba chama cha jubilee hivi sasa lina, lina makata pia ya kuweza kutamatisha kesi hizo hivyo basi ili majina ya wale wote ambao watapewa tiketi waweze uh, kupewa tiketi zao kisha waweze kujumuishwa kwenye orodha ya wale wote watakao jumuishwa kwenye uh, uchaguzi mkuu wa agosti nane. kwako studio ni lofti Uh, kirui kabla ni kuachilie swali moja tu labda umegusia vizuri sana kwamba kesho ndo mwisho kwa ajili ya wale ambao wanatamani kuania viti huria ama kipenda binafsi je mmeweza kumpata maina kamanda mbunge wa starehe manake pia jagwa ametoa madai yake kwamba kumekuwa na udanganyifu katika miaka ya awali kwamba anapokonya wenzake kwa njia ya ulagai je mmempata kaweza kuzungumza nanyi pengine na kutoa kauli zake atachukua hatua gani baada ya kupokonya tiketi hii Nam kufikia sasa loft naweza thibitisha kwamba tumejaribu kumpigia simu uh, mbunge wa sasa wa starehe maina kamali lakini hajaweza kupokea simu zetu lakini bado tunasubiri tuone iwapo ataweza kuzuru uh, afisi kuu ya chama kuweza kupata hatima yake iwapo pia kumbuka kwamba ana uwezo pia ama ana, anaweza chukua hatua ya kuweza kuania kibinafsi lakini hilo litaweza kutoka kwake rasmi tujue iwapo hatua uh, yake uh, atakayochukua ifuatayo ni ipi uh, na uamuzi huo utatokana na nini lofti lakini kufikia sasa uh, maina kamanda hajaweza kufika katika makao makuu haya ya jubilee lakini wafuasi tu wengi wa wale waliopoteza ama wale wanao walio na kesi hapa wameweza kukita kambi nje ya uh, afisi hii ya jubilee wakisubiri uamuzi wa chama na tutakuwa hapa kukujuza zaidi uh, kuhusu maamuzi yatakayoafikiwa na jopo hili linalotatua mizozo ndani ya chama uh, cha jubilee Lofti. Asante uh, sana mwenzangu Jeff Kirui kama ulivyosema endelea kwa hapo ili jopo hili lake 
faith waigwa tuone kama litatutua mizozo yote kama ilivyotarajiwa kwa muda ufao tukisonga mbele na kusalia vile vile katika wanasiasa kinara wa chama cha waipa kalonzo musioka ameikosoa hatua ya bodi ya mashirika sio ya kiserikali kutoa uamuzi ku, ya kufunga kaunti za wakfu wa kalonzo musioka kalonzo amesema kwa bodi hiyo haina amri ya mahakama wala shirika hilo halijapata barua yoyote kutoka kwa bodi amedai kuwa wakfu huo umewasaidia zaidi ya watoto elfu mbili walio katika umaskini I've never had a station where uh, Mr. Fasul Mohammed the executive director so called of NGO coordination council can freeze accounts without a court order that's number one. and I also want to say I'm yet to be served or the foundation is yet to see the letter that was done yesterday and copied to all the media houses and I want to thank the many Kenyans who participated on uh, I, I when I arrived from Mombasa late last night I saw on KTN people being asked uh, whether or not they thought this was pol political persecution and a lot of them overwhelming majority said yes this is all politics but I therefore want to urge we separate politics from NGOs that are so well meaning i saw mention of uh, some 50 million shillings from uh, china youth development fund this came yes indeed and um, the 50 million shillings was given as a dummy check uh, work to be done through the foundation but what our chinese friends did was they brought all the materials brought the materials for the five or four primary schools one in uh, mushima musila's constituency as it then was of Mwingi, Mwingi, Mwingi South, um, and then the other three, I think in Mwingi North. Ataka niseme mina then kwa mauni yangu, Raisu Uru Kenyata always kuhusika na mambo kama haya. Lakini wale wako chini yake pale, ndiyo wenye mambo haya. Na tuta, tutapambana tu, tutapambana na mimi, <laughs> eh, in fact wame, wame tupa motisha ya kupambana hata zaidi. Kwa sababu ikiwa inji inaweza kuongozwa na walagai, mtu kama huyu leo anaandika hiki, kesho anawekwa bunduki juu ya kichwa ambiwa andika ingine, ama vitu kama hivyo. Sijui huyu Fazul Mohamed ni mtu aina gani. But yesterday, I spoke to Mr. Charles Stores, whom I appointed a director of the NGO Coordination Board when I was the vice president. And he assures me, first of all, there is no board <laughs> called the NGO Coordination Board. It's, it's a one-man show. Mtu ambaye hata papers hana. Na mtazamaji tukisalia nae kalonzo msioka kiongozi wali wachache bungeni Francis Nyenze ameutetea msimamo wake wa kumuunga kalonzo msioka kuwa kinara wanasa. Nyenze anadai hadi sasa anaimani kuwa kalonzo msioka ndiye chagua bora kwa muungano huo. Aidha Nyenze ameomba msamaha kwa matamshi aliyoyatoa awali na kusema kuwa amekubaliana na uamuzi wa NASA. Kalonzo kwa upande wake amemsamehe Nyenze na kusisitiza kuwa hamna tofauti yoyote kati hao wawili. I'm here to plead so that there's order in our movement, Wiper Democratic Movement, to assure Kenyans that Honorable Francis Nyenze expresses his belief. And he may have lost out, but you know sometimes it's good to take a strategic move back. And I want to assure Mwishmua Francis Nyenze nothing has gone wrong. I'm a tough negotiator. <laughs> Even today, I still believe he would have been the best flag bearer. But for the party to continue, for us to move together, I've uh, accepted, we move on, uh, and I will not raise that issue another time, because my boss had told me to shut my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so today, I want to say that uh, thank you, party leader, for showing a, a trust in me, and I promise whenever you send me, I will represent you uh, properly. That time I was annoyed that we had uh, negotiated for a long time and uh, when, when we, you never got what we wanted, it is human for someone to be uh, discouraged and annoyed. But now, uh, once you give direction, we will follow you. Thank you. We will support you as a deputy or running mate 
for Raila, and it could be if I never made those hard decisions and never took that stand. Could be they could not have uh, gotten you as their running mate. <laughs> so, so these are the kind of things that we should accept in life, but I'm very loyal to my party leader. Whenever he tells me to jump, I don't ask how many times. <laughs> Na mtazamaji hebu sasa tujiunge na mwanahabari Mwenza Nick Wambu ambaye yuko uh, katika ya jiji la Nairobi atuweze aweze kutupasha mengi aliyojiri haswa amekuwa akifuatilia sana taarifa zake Kalonzo Msyoka kuhusu wakfu kuhusu account zake kufungwa na haya mengine ya Francis Nyenze kutetea uamuzi wake. Uh, Nick hebu tupashe hadi sasa una yepi kuhusiana na mheshimiwa Kalonzo Msyoka? Naam, shukrani sana Lofti Matambo. Uh, kama tarifa ili, uh, tarifa ilivyosema ni kuwa Kalonzo Musyoka basi ameweza kutupilia mbali yale madai kuwa wakfu wake ama wakfu wa Kalonzo Musyoka uh, unafaidi watu wengi tu ambao ni zaidi ya wa Kenya elfu mbili ambao bila shaka wengi anataja kuwa wameweza kusafiri mataifa nje hasa kupata elimu na kupata uh, mambo ama usaidizi kama vile wakati wa janga ama wakati wa, 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 wa wakati kuna matatizo mengi ambayo sana sana nahusiana na hali ya kila siku ya mwananchi wa kawaida basi na hivyo basi akaweza kutaja kuwa E, kufikia tarehe kumi e, mwezi wa Aprili basi e, ile bodi ya mashirika sio kuwa serikali aliweza kumtumia barua na kusema kuwa basi e, lile ama lile shirika lake basi ama wakfu wake ulikuwa umefikiana na mambo yote ambayo nitajika kuweza kutosheleza kwenye ile bodi na hivyo basi kusema kuwa kuna mambo ama kuna e, maswala ambayo unohusiana na siasa sana sana ambao bila shaka ni nguvu zilizo chini ya rais Uhuru Kenyatta na hivyo basi kutaja kuwa kuna uwezekano kwamba pia wenzake ambao ni Raila Odinga a, pamoja na wale wengine kama vile kina Moses Wetangula na Musalem Davidi basi wenda labda pia wataweza kushikwa ama wataweza kupatwa na shoka hili maana kuna kuwa ni siasa ambazo hapa zinacheza na hivyo basi eh, kuweza pia kutaja kuwa huenda ni kwa sababu walitaka ama walitakikana waweze kufutilia mbali eh, nasa na hivyo basi kuna nguvu ambazo zinaweza ama nguvu ambazo kwa sasa zinatumia hii bodi ya mashirika sio kwa serikali hivyo basi kuweza kumpiga fimbo Never loft basi haya ni masuala kwa sasa ambayo eh, yalikuwa yalikuwa yamemfika Kalonzo Musyoka ikitajika kuwa zaidi ya milioni moja na arobaini basi zimeweza kutuma vibaya lakini Kalonzo ameweka wazi kuwa zile fedha ambazo ameweza kupata kutoka kwa wafadhili basi hata zitafika milioni ishirini. na hivyo basi kutaja kuwa kati ya zile pesa ambazo anapokea yeye mwenyewe amekuwa akiongeza pesa zake juu na ufadhili kidogo kidogo kutoka kwa makanisa na hivyo basi kuweza kusaidia wale wananchi ama wale wa Kenya ambao hawajiwezi na hivyo basi kusema kuwa shirika lake liko safi na liko tayari bado kuendelea kuhudumia wa Kenya wasio na hatia Lofti swala lingine ambalo pia tume, tumeza kuliangazia ni zile swala la nyenze manake tunapia tuna pia nyenze hakudhuria ule mkutano wa NASA ambao ulikuwa Uhuru Park eh, wakati wa kuzindua kinara na hivyo basi kusema kuwa amemsamehe nyenze na nyenze kuweza kuomba msamaha na kusema kuwa uamuzi ulifanywa kwamba uunge Raila Odinga mkono na Hatu yake bado nasimama kwamba yeye atamuunga Raila Odinga mkono Kalonzo Musyoka akiwa kinara pamoja na wale wengine wote na kusema kuwa wakati huu ulikuwa ghadhabu tu za siasa manake yeye binafsi alikuwa anapendelea kiongozi wake Kalonzo Musyoka awe kinara wa uh, NASA lakini uamuzi ulifanywa na NASA wenyewe kwa basi hana budi bali tu kumuunga Kalonzo Musyoka mkono akiwa naibu eh, ama akiwa naibu kinara katika muungano wa NASA kwa kwa lofti na ma, na asante sana Nick kwa tathmini hiyo nzuri na tukiachana na nyenzo za nyenze wacha tusonge mbele na taarifa zaidi kufia mbalimbali mbali kuhusu kufutilia mbali kwa cheti cha profesa Anyang Nyongo uh, kuwania ugavana wa Kisumu kumetoa uh, hisia mbalimbali na Rashid Ronald aliweza kuzungumza na wakazi wa Kisumu kuhusiana na hatua ya jopo la kutatua mizozo ya mchujo huo hebu tupate hisia hizo na masante sana studio niko katika jiji la Kisumu na bila shaka taarifa hiyo imezua maoni tofauti tofauti kwa wakazi wa hapa hebu tutazame baadhi ya maoni ya wale nilizungumza nao hapo awali ticket sisi kama wakaji wa Kisumu tunasema tulichagua nyongo na nyongo ndio kama na tunajua huyo jamaa kama anataka kurudi arudi na independent tu, 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 tu kwa debe 
akutane na nyongo life life sisi tulichagua nyongo hapa Kisumu huyu ndio governor tunajua na tulimpigia kura huyo ranguma kama hakuna Kenya ametufanyia hapa yenye anatulazimisha atilazima kuwe governor wa Kisumu uchaguzi ilifanywa wananchi walitoa maoni yao siku ya debe matokeo ilitangazwa na mwenye aliruhusiwa kutangaza na akasema nyongo mwenye alisema nyongo anajua kwa nini alikuwa anasema nyongo mwenye alitangaza ranguma na anajua kwa nini alitangaza ranguma sasa kwa hiyo mdwara yote mwenye wanahusika lazima ndio waende tribunal wasema ni, mimi nilitangaza nyongo kwa sababu nilikuwa nampatua rusa mimi nilitangaza ranguma kwa sababu nilipatua rusa sasa hao ndio wawe watatuzi hii jambo kwa hivyo tunaonelea kwamba uwezi kuwa unajitangaza na unajitangazia wewe kama mshindi kule nje ya Kisumu unajua Kisumu city kuna vifaa kuna ki, ki, halls nyingi ambao matangazo naweza tolewa kuna vifaa nyingi ambao matangazo naweza fanywa kuna usalama ya kutosha kwa hivyo yale yale e, aliyofanya kule nje ya Kisumu tunasema ilikuwa sio halali hayo ndiyo baadhi ya maoni ya wakazi wa hapa Kisumu kuhusiana na sinto fahamu hiyo inayohusiana na uchaguzi ama uteuzi wa ugavana wa hapa Kisumu sina la ziada ila kurejesha moja kwa moja hadi studioni kule Nairobi na asante sana mwanzangu Rashidi Ronaldo wakati ambapo wakazi wa Kisumu wameachwa kwenye njia panda kwenye ngware ya siasa. Tukisonga mbele ni juzi tu kila mtu alikuwa akiomba mvua ishuke ili ukame na joto vitulie. Sasa raha na baraka za mvua zimegeuka kuwa karaha hasa katika maeneo ya Bamburi na Utange katika kaunti ya Mombasa. Hapa usafiri umekuwa ukitatizika na kuwa watabu sana biashara zingine kulazimika kufungwa na kwa sababu ya maji yanayopita mbele ya majumba ya makazi na vile vile majumba ya biashara. Kwa wakazi sasa wanaomba serikali ya kaunti ya Mombasa ichukue jukumu la kurekebisha daraja linalounganisha Bamburi na Utange kwa sababu biashara zao zimeanza kuzaga licha ya kaunti hiyo kuendelea kulipisha kodi ama kulipisha kodi kunradhi kama kawaida. Na, na mtazamaji tatu ya radhi taarifa ile ilikuwa ni ya maandamano tutakuletea ile taarifa ya mafuriko kutoka Mombasa katika muda usokuwa mrefu baadhi ya waliokuwa wawaniaji wa nyadhifa mbalimbali waliopoteza kwenye mchujo wa chama cha jubili wamekigura chama hicho na kujiunga na muungano wa NASA aliyekuwa mwaniaji wa kiti cha eneo bunge la Ndaragwa katika kaunti ya Nyandarua Moses Ndegwa ametangaza kuhama jubili na kujiunga na NASA seven counties namri nyandarwa raikipia nyeri and embu muranga kirinyaga and kiambu and today we have also received some other people from nairobi county have today resigned from the jubilee party and come together to support the nasa nasa team we wish to register our disappointments and regrets over the way the nominations were conducted and subsequent treatment and humiliation of those who appealed to the party over the irregularities during the primaries we wish to state very clearly that there is a powerful hand that is not only rigging out some candidates but also manipulating the whole process with the intention to have the preferred persons to be erected in mount kenya region we wish to distance ourselves from the ongoing jubilee appeals and nominations and as a team of aspirants business persons and religious leaders and opinion leaders today resigns and become from the jubilee party and join us a team to push for the agenda of mount kenya region within nasa we will not only campaign for nasa candidate but we will also move from town to town from village to village and from house to house to educate our people that we are saving nasa government and a time has come for the people not to be manipulated not to be controlled and not to be rigged out in the purpose of having private persons as our leaders we have decided that we are going to organize rallies for our candidates in all the seven counties 
and we are going to drum up support for the NASA presidential candidate. Asante sana. Ah, mtazamaji nimekugusia hapo awali kwamba leo ni siku ya kuadhimisha siku ya uhuru wa wanahabari na vyombo vya habari kote ulimwenguni chini ya shirika la UNESCO ambalo linaandaa maadhimisho haya na basi kudhalilishwa kwa wanahabari kote ulimwenguni kumekuwa tatizo kubwa sana na inasemekana kwamba asasi za kiserikali zimekuwa haziko katika mstari wa mbele na hivyo kumetajwa kuwa changamoto kuu humu nchini katika ulimwengu wakati huo ambapo ulimwengu unaadhimisha siku ya kimataifa ya kutetea uhuru wa wanahabari na hii leo katika hali ya kuadhimisha basi kumekuwa na washikadau mbali mbali ambao wamezungumzia haya mambo ya wanahabari kupata uhuru wao hebu tusikilize jinsi mambo yalivyokuwa katika adhimisho hili During this period the media has also scored some victories a declaration by the court that criminal libel is against the constitution was a big burden lifted off our shoulders we will encourage the next parliament to delete the relevant section of the criminal procedure code so the section remains only that the court has declared that this section cannot be used but we will be comfortable if we did not have it in the statute at all the ongoing fake news and alternative news assault is a phenomenon of grave consequences that include a return to old days of less accountable leadership absence of transparent governance and checked abuse of power by despots emboldened by the perception of the new global air of impunity and a rampage by village politicians who will now walk around in absolute belief that they all know one answers not the media and ultimately not the public they purportedly serve as a media fraternity in Kenya we must work hard to stay true to the maxim of our calling the service of public interest as a country and an emerging democracy in Africa we would not allow ourselves to harass or gag the media and we will continue to support all initiatives of media stakeholders in their pursuit for professionalism and responsibility we however note with regret the reported but isolated instances where journalists have been harassed beaten or even lost their lives in the line of duty this situation is unacceptable na mshukrani sana bila shaka ni washikadau mbalimbali katika uh, sekta hii ya wanahabari la inaskaikai pamoja na waziri wa habari nchini Joe Musheru akiweza kutoa ahadi zao kwamba watakuwa msero wa mbele kuhakikisha kwamba wanahabari wana uhuru wote kuweza kutekeleza majukumu yao na kuwapasha raia kadri matukio yanavyotokea. Basi tutajiunga na mwanahabari mwenza ambaye ni Francis Mtalaki yuko katika hafla ile ambayo inaendelea sasa Mtalaki mbali na kwamba leo kutakuwa na tuzo najua kuna mengi yamejadiliwa pengine zile hatua ambazo vyombo vya habari vimepiga katika kuhakikisha kwamba vinapasha watu na vile vile kuwa katika hali ya usawa bila kubagua upande wote tupashe haswa ni yapi ambayo yamejadiliwa katika hafla ile Na mlofti yapo mengi tu ambayo yameweza kujadiliwa kuanzia majira ya asubuhi hadi sasa ambapo eh, mkutano huo basi umeweza kuchukua mapumziko mafupi lakini tamasha yenyewe basi ndio itakuwa kuanzia mwendo wa saa kumi na mbili. lakini kwa mutasari tu ambaye yale ambayeweza kuzungumzwa ni kwamba yapo mengi tu ambayo kuhusiana na uhuru wa wanahabari fahamike kwamba eh, taaluma hii ya wanahabari imeweza kutoka mbali si tu eh, humu nchini bali katika mataifa yaliyoko katika ukanda huu Afrika Mashariki na dunia nzima kwa ujumla hivyo katika Uh, muktadha wa taifa hili kwamba waliweza kuzungumzia mengi kuhusiana ni kipi ambacho wanaweza kufanya washikadau wote kuanzia serikali kwenda katika uh, ubaraza la wanahabari nchini sawa na vyombo vya habari na sisi wanahabari kwamba ni kipi ambacho tunapaswa kufanya ili kuweza kuona kwamba katika siku za kawaida kile mkenya ambacho tunazomshibisha nacho kinaweza kuwa ni cha, 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 cha sawa na cha uhakiki ilo ni swala ambalo liweza kujitokeza kwa njia moja au nyingine sawa na changamoto ambazo zimeweza kujitokeza katika uh, siku za hivi majuzi kwamba wanahabari kwa njia moja au nyingine wamekuwa kipoteza maisha katika njia ya kutatanisha ni swala ambalo pia limeweza kuzungumziwa na wadau husika eh, katika eh, mkutano huu ambao ulikuwa unaendelea katika majira ya asubuhi hadi sasa na mengi tu ambayo yameweza kujiri ni kwamba katika eh, 
maeneo ambayo yameweza kuonekana kwamba kwa upande fulani wana habari wamekuwa kipoteza maisha ni, ni nini chanzo kimekuwa ni nini sababu zimeweza kutolewa kwa upande fulani na washikadau wengi wakaza kusema kwamba kwa njia moja au nyingine inahitaji kwamba nguvu za pamoja ziweze kuja kwa kuona ni kwamba eh, elimu wana habari wameweza kuelimishwa katika uhuru wao ambao wanapaswa kufanyia kazi sawa na yule ambayo labda kwa njia moja au nyingine amekuwa kimkandamiza mwana habari basi kuweza kupata eh, ile fursa ya kuweza kwamba kuona kwamba wana habari pia wana jukumu la kuweza kuona ni kipi ambacho kinaweza eh, kufanyika katika taifa hili ili kuweza kusonga mbele pia kwa upande fulani serikali pia imetukwa jukumu la kuona kwamba sisi kama wana habari ama wewe kama mwana habari ni kipi ambacho basi serikali inaweza kutusaidia ili kuona kwamba eh, katika shughuli zetu za kazi kila siku basi tuweze kufanya majukumu yetu katika njia inayofaa na zaidi ya hayo pia ni katika mambo ambayo yanahusiana na kile ambacho kimeweza kujiri katika siku za, za hapo nyuma pia ikizingatiwa kwamba kumekuwepo na sheria tata ambazo zimeweza kutaja na itafahamika kwamba katika miaka miwili au mwaka mmoja uliopita kumekuwepo na ma, ma, maandamano ni vipi basi tunaweza eh, ama wanahabari na washikadau husika wanaweza kupunguza ule mgongano ambao unaweza kupelekea hadi eh, kufanyike maandamano nchini kuhusiana na uhuru wa wanahabari lofti matambo Mtalaki uh, umezungumza na ukanikumbusha maandamano ambayo yamekuwa kifanyika na kumbuka mwaka 2015 kulikuwa na mswada tata ambao ulikuwa ni mswada wa usalama lakini ulikuwa unagusia wanahabari haswa kipengele cha 12 cha katiba katika sehemu ya 33 na 34 ambayo inawapatia wanahabari uhuru lakini kama wasemavyo wa Kiswahili ni kwamba uhuru bila mipaka pia inakuwa ni hatari kidogo sijui kama kumekuwa na mjadala kuhusiana na wanahabari majukumu yao katika kuhakikisha kwamba katika uhuru huu wanatekeleza yanayofaa katika shughuli zao kumbuka tuko katika msimu wa uchaguzi na kuna wakati fulani ambapo vyombo vya habari vimelaumiwa kwa kuweza kupeperusha taarifa ambazo zinaweza kuhatarisha na kuleta mgongano kati ya raia wa Kenya mtalaki Na mlofti ni kweli kwamba swala hilo ni tata hadi sasa na la muhimu sana pia kwetu sisi na washikada wote liweza kuzungumzia kwamba tunapoelekea katika kipindi cha kampeni tunapokaribia katika uchaguzi mkuu basi inapaswa kwa kila mwana habari kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba ile taarifa ambayo anaweza kuitayarisha basi ipo na ukweli na iweze kuwa basi na usawa kwa njia moja au fulani kwa sababu kwamba eh, yapo matukio ambayo labda kwa njia moja au nyingine wana habari wamepatwa kulaumiwa kwamba taarifa kwa njia moja au nyingine kwamba inaegemea upande mmoja na haijakuwa basi ile kwa njia moja tunasema kwamba tunaweza kusema kwamba haijaweza kupikwa ikapikika vizuri na kwa sasa basi washikadau wameweza eh, kulichanganua swala hili wakasema kwamba eh, kwa vyombo vya habari vyote vilivyoko huko nchini iwe ni, ni chombo cha eh, kupitia runinga kama sasa vile tunavyofanya na kwenda kwa redio na pia na, na, na magazeti pia ni kwamba ni kuwe, kuwe na njia moja ambayo inaweza kuona kwamba taarifa itakapochapishwa basi iwe na usawa na kuweza kuhakiki na isiyo kwamba inaegemea upande mmoja au mwingine au kwa njia nyingine basi iwe pia ni haihaiwezi kulingana na matwako na zile sheria ambazo zipo katika taifa hili sawa na kwamba kwa upande fulani pia eh, wanasiasa pia wao wameweza kuonywa kwamba wasiweze kutoa matamshi ambayo labda yataweza kumweka mwana habari katika njia ambayo tunasema kwamba ina inaweza ina, 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 ina mtafaruko kwa njia moja au nyingine kwamba katika e, siku zilizopita kwamba wana siasa pia wameweza kulaumiwa kwa njia moja au nyingine kuweza kupandisha mori wa siasa humu nchini hivyo basi ni muhimu basi kuweza kuwa na mambo haya mawili lakini kisheria ni kwamba e, ni muhimu kwamba vipengee hivi viwili vimeweza kuzungumziwa na kitu ki, 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 ambacho kimeweza kujitokeza ni kwamba washikadau wote wameweza kukubaliana na kwamba hili jambo tunapaswa kulishikilia vizuri na sisi kama wanahabari ile ajenda ambayo tunaweza iweka mbele kwa Kenya kwamba iwe ni sawa na inayohakiki na iwapo basi kutakuwa na lolote ambalo litaweza kujiri basi liweze kushughulikiwa kikamilifu bila ya kuleta mgongano kutoka kwa serikali eh, vyombo vya habari sawa na wale ambao wanatuangalia kama eh, vyombo kama vile baraza la la, 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 la habari ambalo lipo chini yetu kuweza kutoa mwongozo na na sheria ambazo zipo ambazo zipo kwa chini ya katiba. Hivyo basi ni swala nzito na jukumu nzito kwetu sisi wana habari kuweza kuona kwamba swala hili basi tumeweza kulichukua kwa njia moja au nyingine na kulipeleka katika eh, mambo ambayo yanahusiana na wanahabari. Umuhimu ni kwamba tunaelekea kwenye uh, uchaguzi mkuu na kwamba uh, vyombo vya habari basi vimeweza ku, uh, ku, 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 kuonywa kwa njia moja au nyingine kwamba kuweza kutoa taarifa za uhakiki.
kwa Coloft. Amtalaki kabla ni kuachilia ukapate Sharubati Embe maana najua uko jijini Nairobi. Ah kumekuwa na swala hili la taarifa kupeperushwa moja kwa moja. KTN News inaongoza katika shughuli hii ama utendakazi huu wa kutumia teknolojia kisasa kupeperusha habari za moja kwa moja katika maeneo mbalimbali. Kulikuwa na mchakato kwamba habari ziwe hazipeperushi moja kwa moja haswa huu wakati ambapo tunaelekea katika uchaguzi mkuu kwa hofu kwamba wanasiasa watakuwa natoa matamshi chochezi matamshi ya chuki na yakwende moja kwa moja je kumekuwa na minongono hiyo labda pengine wana habari pale wametoa hisia gani na washikadau kwa ujumla kuhusiana swala hili Lofti samahani wapo naweza kurejelea swali lako tafadhali no, swali na, nauliza kumekuwa na minongono kwamba taarifa a uh, zisikwende moja kwa moja kumekuwa na hizo hisia awali kwa maana tunaelekea katika uchaguzi mkuu na zikienda moja kwa moja kutoka nyanjani basi wana uh, wanasiasa watapata fursa ya kupeperusha matamshi chochezi bila kufanyiwa ule uhariri je yeah, umechukua labda maoni ya vyo, ya wale washikadau pamoja na wanahabari wana hisi vipi kuhusiana na mchakato huu ambao ulikuwa awali uh, ingawaje ulizaga kidogo Nam na ma uh, Konradi kun, nafikiri tumempoteza pale wacha tumwachilie huyu bwana Mtalaki Francis ambaye tumemzoea sana akileta uh, uh, vitu vyake kutoka Mombasa ni leo ankuja kutafuta sharubati embe huko Nairobi. Na kwa mahojiano hayo yangu na Mtalaki naomba kuchukua pumziko lakini mtazamaji usiende mbali maana taarifa bado zipo katika mbio ya KTN.